Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you something that you should do every time you use an extension cord. Whether you're plugging in a tool or a household item or anything to an extension cord, you should do this. Now let's say that I am going to be plugging in this saw to the extension cord and I simply plug it into the extension cord just like that and I end up using the saw. So I'm using the saw and what happens is as I'm using the saw it ends up pulling out the plug from the extension cord, okay? The, uh, the pressure, the pulling force from me using the saw ends up unplugging me from the extension cord and then you have to go back and plug it in and so forth. Now there's something simple that you can do to prevent yourself from actually getting unplugged when you're using an extension cord with any sort of thing. Now what you want to do is you want to do something simple that will connect these two cords that will allow them to act as if they are one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take them just like that. We're going to bring them together. Then I'm just going to curl them up into sort of like a loop right over here and then with the loop I'm going to bring these through both of them I'm basically going to tie a knot with both of the cords together now what I can do is I can plug in the saw once again to the extension cord just like that and let's say I'm using the saw which is this part of the cord over here and I'm using the saw and I'm pulling on the saw and it's pulling on the cord what's going to happen is it's not going to come unplugged. It's not going to get unplugged. So what you're going to get is you're going to get the cords sort of acting as one, acting in unison. And that's going to prevent your uh, tool or your appliance or your whatever it is that you're using from getting unplugged. It's a very simple method. Once again, I'll show you just one more time how easy it is. Instead of just plugging in the uh, product or the item to the extension cord uh, just as if you regularly would instead of just plugging it in just like that what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you bring them together as one hold them at the edges like this get your other hand move it a little bit further down wrap them in a loop like that then bring these two through the loop and then just pull them together just like that what happens is like i said you get like a knot and that ends up holding them together as one so that when you plug it in, let's say I plug in the saw just like this, okay, and I'm using the saw, okay, I'm cutting something, and then the saw, because I'm using the saw, ends up pulling on the cord. I'm not going to get unplugged. The saw is going to remain plugged in um, and you know whatever else you're using whether it's a saw or a vacuum or anything else that you're using with an extension cord um, maybe even it's a, a piece of landscaping equipment like an electric lawnmower or an electric uh, trimmer or something like that whatever it is that you're using with an extension cord you can use this little trick simply tie a little loop tie them together in a knot and what happens is, is you will prevent yourself from getting unplugged as you're working because everybody knows whether you're using a saw or a vacuum or cutting the lawn or anything like that, whatever you're doing, if you're plugged into an extension cord and you get unplugged, it can be quite annoying and it can interrupt your working pattern, it can interrupt your flow of working. So it's something simple that you can do whenever you use an extension cord. It's literally as simple as that. Take the two cords, make a loop, tie them in a knot, and there you have it. Plug it in, and you are good to go. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you something that you should do every time that you use an extension cord. Whatever it is that you're using, that you're using with the extension cord, this will apply as long as you're using an extension cord. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.